Hello everyone and welcome back to Butterfly Dreams Crochet. I am your butterfly host, Jeannie. Today is August the 11th, 2020. So being that, um, well, let me say this. Let me thank all of my subscribers. Um, I really do appreciate y'all coming by, supporting my channel, and sharing all of the love and everything that y'all give me. I really do appreciate that, y'all. And um, with that being said, I'm always telling y'all that y'all are always welcome here in my little crochet corner. But I haven't never showed y'all my crochet corner. This is all that y'all get to see. So, I'm going to um, show y'all my little crochet corner. Now, so let me... Get the camera flipped around and get to the door and we will do a, a quick tour of my little crochet corn. Hold on. Okay guys, this is the entrance into my little crochet room. Um, I'm going to pan it around just a little bit so you can get a full view of it and then we will talk about the stuff. I'm not going to go in detail about any of the yarn because that would just take extremely too long. Okay, so my room is not that big. It's an empty room that we had, and I turned it into my little crochet corner. That shelf right there where you see my signs, that is all Premier Basic with a few skeins of Red Heart Super Saver mixed in with it. That cedar robe... And it is full of yarn as well. Um, that shelf here has my ice yarn on it. I call that my Lime Brand shelf because that's all Lime Brand. That is a mixture of Lime Brand and Yarn Inspiration. And I put my Burnett and um, Burnett Baby Marley yarn there. And all that at the bottom is the Karen One Pounders. Um... Y'all will learn about that on Wednesday. That is my magazine rack that I bought at my local flea market. Um, I gave a dollar for it. It was like a gray color. And I just took a can of spray paint and painted it. I like bright colors. And I have six crates there. One on top. This shelf back here. I call that my premier shelf because that's what's on it is premier yarn. That is my tub that says form to table that I, and it has hanks in it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to move slow so I don't make y'all sick. That is a two tier, it's a two basket shelf. Um, behind my, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord sign is another basket and it has some Karen Simply soft in it. That's what's in the blue tote. And that is hometown, Lime Brand hometown yarn in that basket, along with some of the, um, Karen Pantones. Those two things sitting there with the two drawers I got from a local flea market. I paid a dollar a piece for those. My love is all we need sign. I also got at our local flea market. Um, we actually have two really nice indoor flea markets. All of that is cotton yarn. Either Premier Home Cotton, um, Peaches and Cream, Lily Sugar and Cream is some Annie's um, Crochet and Knit Kit Club yarn, uh, cotton yarn mixed in with that and the mainstays. And that is Premier Rodeo, the cotton colors, the cream co cotton from Loots and Thread, and some Coastal Cotton. And those other two skeins, y'all will learn about those in a yarn review. This shelf here is actually antique. I picked it up from my local flea market. I actually only gave $10 for it. 
It has my I Love This Cotton by Hobby Lobby, some ice yarn. I put my bobbins on there. And it has some buttercream alpaca yarn down in that basket there. And that little rooster that has the crochet thread on it. And it actually came with a roll of twine on it. The apple is actually a um, paper towel holder that is real heavy. But it had a short spool on it or rod. And I use it for my cakes. So it works out really well. And this is my display of my star shines. And those two little triangles, I actually got them yesterday from my local family dollar. Um, it says, this is where the fun stuff happens. And sprinkle kindness wherever you go. And that is my collection of furl crochet hooks. Minus one, which is in my yarn review. And I am planning on doing a crochet hook review as well. And y'all will learn my opinion of the furls crochets hooks and this is my workspace and it will be changing i am going to downsize to a desk that is just about that size right there on the workspace and then it has three tiers to the side of it, but it won't it won't take up as much room. And y'all see that personal fan, baby. This old guy here, inner child, wants to play with matches from time to time. And I have to have something that will put them out. Now this shelf here came from our dump. My husband and I um take our trash to the dump every Saturday and when we pulled up that one particular Saturday I noticed it sitting on the outside of the dumpster so Jennifer with cinnamon stitches you're not the only one that goes dumpster diving <laughs> only thing is I we don't dive in dumpsters but we do bring stuff home another old saying one man's trash is another man's treasure and that's no story, y'all. So, it was sitting out there by itself. And I didn't even see the totes at the time. So, I walked over there and checked it out. And while my husband was throwing the trash off the back of the truck, I said, Lawrence, this would be perfect for you to put your oil filters on. Um, the new ones that you need to have on hand to change the oil in the big truck. He said, yeah, that might would work. But you already know, Jeannie, that's going to end up in that crochet room back there. It, and what he was right. So I brought it home, put it in my shed that I have outside um, that we keep our horse feeding stuff in. And I left it out there for a couple of days because you don't want to bring nothing unwanted into your house. And I went back out there with my Lysol Clorox wipes and I cleaned it down, brought it in. I wiped all of those totes out with Clorox wipes. And then I brought them in and I washed them with some hot soapy Clorox water. So that is what that is being utilized for. It was free. And boy does it serve a purpose. Yes it does. I'm going to turn slowly. And I'm going to sit down. That is a three tier shelf that came from Michael's. And that blue um, tie-dye um, bag came from Walmart for $5. And it actually closes up and zips up. It all folds in and then zips up into like a little rectangle bag. So guys, I really and truthfully hope y'all enjoyed my little tour. And I hope I did not make y'all sick. And y'all see the butterflies. Those have been in here this whole time, guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all keep coming back. Because I really love spending time with y'all here in my crochet corner. 
And remember, if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please give it a thumbs up. And please leave me those comments because, guys, I really do enjoy those comments. And I will talk to y'all later on. Y'all have a good night. I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.